What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'll be doing a guide on how to defeat Oryx the final boss in the King's Fall Raid. I've made short and to the point guides for all three bosses before Oryx, so the War Priest, Golgroth, the Daughters of Oryx. If you need help on those, you can learn some tips and strategies on how to beat them and they'll be linked in the description. And I've also uploaded the pure raw gameplay of this very Oryx fight. This video is going to be an edited tutorial to show you the mechanics and how to beat him. So I recommend you watch this video first to learn the mechanics of what to do and then you can go watch the raw gameplay for a full run on how it's done and a demonstration start to finish. So that will be linked in the description as well for you to watch. And that being said, make sure to thumbs up this video if you found it helpful and let's get into the boss fight. So I'm going to try and make this video as quick and concise as possible while also having the important details that you need to know. So basically Oryx is this enormous boss as you can see and he's so powerful you need to do most of your damage to him by detonating these four pretty much bombs that drop by ogres around the map. And that is how you do damage to him by detonating these bombs. And you also do a bit of damage by shooting him in the belly. There are some similarities to the daughter's boss fight just before this one. Because it's in the same room obviously. So mastering the daughter's boss fight is going to make it a little bit easier for the Oryx boss fight. To begin you need to designate four people to stand on plates. They need powerful guns to kill ogres. And designate one person to be the jumper. They're going to be jumping around the platforms and collecting the relic. They need to be your best jumper good at parkouring around the map. And the last person gets to run around and do what they want. Helping the four plate people clearing ads, generating orbs, but they are equally important to this to do their job. You must have at least one titan with a defender bubble with weapons of light to do this. This is essential, you must have this to do enough damage, unless you're super powerful and you're all way over 300 light, then you can pretty get away with it. But other than that, if you're around the recommended light level of 290 to 300, then you need a bubble with weapons of light. The more of these bubbles you have, the easier it will be. So if you can have two, three bubbles, that'll be easy, but obviously you're limited to how many titans you have on your raid team. And also make sure the bubble person has the most intellect they possibly can their super is charged faster and everyone puts on perks so their armor supers can generate orbs really quickly and can give that guy a bubble as quick as possible. So those rolls are down. Now let's begin the Oryx boss fight. He's going to slam a plate, leaving a tear on one of them and he always starts with one of the two front plates and then occasionally moves down all the other four plates. But he's going to leave a tear on it and the first person to jump into that tear and on the plate is going to get taken. So you can choose who is taken and who's going to be the jumper unlike the daughter's fight. Then one of the four people steps on the plate with the jumper and you go counterclockwise from there around the room jumping on one plate at a time and you must jump on one after another in the same order it has to be counterclockwise otherwise you will fail and the jumper won't be able to grab the relic so jump on when it's your turn and then call out so the next person knows to jump on theirs now kill the four ogres that spawn next to each plate and it's better for you to both gang up on one ogre together and shoot them together and then shoot your ogre together so as you can see me and Bife both shoot his ogre and then me and Bife both shoot my ogre that's how you do it best and remember this is where the sixth guy comes in handy because he can help out where it's needed also notice that every time I throw this vortex grenade in front of the ogre, this vortex grenade traps him and prevents him from moving because it's an area of effect grenade and he's not going to walk through that because he's blocked off. So that's a very good tip if you can get knight stalkers with vortex grenades or void walkers with vortex grenades to be on the plates and they can block off the ogres preventing them from running forward. Each time an ogre is killed they drop the corrupted light which is like a bomb that is going to damage oryx and by now the jumper should have the relic. He comes down and steals the bubble from this vessel of Oryx Knight that spawns on the tomb ship and you need to kill the vessel knight and also watch out for the tomb ship shooting at you. Then you all group up under the aura that you stole from the vessel and also titans pop that weapon of light bubble and Oryx is charging up an attack that is going to wipe you all. So use the weapons of light and everyone needs to do massive damage while he's charging and opens up his belly and you need to stop him doing this attack by making him flinch. This is the biggest obstacle of the fight and as long as you have enough damage to stop his attack you've mastered the hardest part. Now it's just about practice and execution making sure no one messes up but this is the hardest part you need to have weapons powerful enough to do enough damage to make him flinch once he's been stopped the four plate people need to step into that corrupted light from the ogres at the same time you don't need to be in the dead center in the black orb just in the outer dome and once you see you've detonated it and you hear the sound cue go back to the middle group up and shoot oryx some more while the bombs go off after that you would have done 25 percent damage and he'll be down to 75 percent health and that's how you do a complete normal round after the first one, he's going to do what we call the lightning round and just keep running around in circles. Don't stop because he's sending these exploding, seeking orbs after you. And once that's done, you repeat step one again with the plates, the ogres, you grab the relic, stop his attack, bombs, and then more damage. And now he's at 50%. But after this, he's going to do what we call a shadow round. He sends you all one by one to the shadow realm, which is where you need to kill the shade of Oryx. Then you do another round and then another shadow round. And then he's at 25%. And then you do one last round and then he'll be at 0% health and his life bar will appear to be empty. But he has one last final stand at the front of the room. And this is where he's going to charge up to wipe you out again. 
At this point, you shoot his belly once again, and if you do enough damage in time, he is going to be dead, and there it is. Oryx is finally killed, and feel free to replay any parts over if you're still unsure on it, and make sure to thumbs up this video if it's helped you. So like I've said, I've got full gameplay where you can see this in real time play out, so I'd highly recommend you go watch that, and that will be linked in the description. So I hope you found this guide useful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.